Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to I Am The Fifth Element. My name is Juan and I'm here to do a daily energy read number two for today. And the title of this read is The Lift. Um, and it features the song Lift Me Up by Rihanna. So I noticed that I don't think I've, I've calculated the numerology day at all. Um, I believe it's a 10 day for completions. That's definitely the energy that I get. And when my team does two energy reads, it's not like we're doing an energy re read in a pulse of Gaia, but two energy reads. It lets me know that this is a new wave of energy that we're on. And so we're not at the sweet spot or in the sweet spot of it yet, but definitely something that we want to be prepared for. That's why we have so much information on today about this lift. And if you look at the cards that have already presented in earlier reads, I was told to leave them here. This lift is actually um, illustrated. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And card number nine, the nine of wands, spiritual strength in this deck. So nines are about growth and expansion and nearing the end of the cycle. But this gives me a literal lift up by the divine realm, okay? So our message is going to be something along those lines. So let's go ahead and get it. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcomed here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do a daily energy number two for today, November the 2nd, 2022, for YouTube as a collective, using me as the channel. Please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. This download was received on 10-31-2022 at 8.44 in the AM, 0844. Now, with the, new, with the use of this new clock, this military time, as soon as I tap in, depending on how my team has me write the number or the time, with the zero visible or not, lets me know immediately what energy I'm tapping into. So 0844. So featured is movement in master building 44 energy, integrity as a foundation, treating Gaia as home and temple, and manifestation and leadership. On 1031 2022, there were two paths to this 11 master building energy or two on a lower vibration energy. So Master Building 11 energy is divine inspiration, synchronicity, and encouragement to keep going on your path. That is being divinely inspired to do a thing, following God's synchronistic breadcrumbs on your divine high north no path. Okay? And then two is balanced partnerships or alliances. Now, two routes to this 11 or 2 vibration. 47, which is the higher route, and it is a route of higher knowing. I was just shown the high priestess. Or 38, which is the lower route. And so, 4, 7, stability, home, family, and foundation. And 7, journeying to your God self. I feel this as a unit, a family unit, journeying to their God self. In this 11 raised master building energy. 38, I feel is connecting and communicating with the upper angelic realm and movement in it. A path of movement in your connection and communication with the upper angelic realm. That could be going from connecting with the lower realm to connecting with the upper angelic realm. That could be already connecting with the upper angelic realm and getting some sort of promotion where you can connect higher in the heavens. So it could be a myriad of different things. You are either in master building 11 or 2. So either in route 47 or 38. So if you're seeing 47, this is this route of knowing, high priestess awareness. If you're in 38, you're working out kinks or getting used to a new way of communicating with the upper angelic realm. Then I was shown 40, uh, 47, 
minus 38. The difference is nine. And then I heard Oya. So she's the mother of nine. And this Oya was heard at 0616. So this is special coding for me. This is Tupac Shakur coding. As an angel number, angel number 616 is about letting go of fear and allowing abundance of all types to enter your life because you've worked hard for it and you deserve it. I was just shown the golden palace in my mind's eye. It's about a new relationship or reunited love and being open to giving and receiving love, which is the highest vibration of all. The first thing I heard on tap in was sub, substitutes, the replacements, now, safe and sound. And the replacements... It goes deep. So this coding my team uses for a lot, for clergymen, for anyone that is being upgraded, okay? So a replacement could really be another vessel, another entity, another human, or it could be a reworking of an old human where God has upgraded this individual, okay? So, and then I heard safe and sound. Something that once felt hopeless is actually underlined and in quotation, safe and sound, secure. And then the Mockingbird. And the Mockingbird song was in transition energy. So some sort of transitioning from one phase to another. And this is a quick transition. Then I was shown 113 coding in my mind's eye and 204. 113, I have felt for quite some time, I, I want to say about two months now, as an ancestral code, actually an ancestral warning about what 204, 420 in any combination is happiness. So an ancestral warning about someone's happiness. Now, why would ancestors be warning someone about someone's happiness? Yeah, because somebody is in the mix trying to oppose this coupling, okay? And there is a strong ancestral warning to stop. And then I heard strong promotion vibes. And I am to explain the deep emotion that I felt listening to lift me up. It actually gave me chills all over my body. Then I heard destiny in quotations, God's words, auspicious boom. And then the house finch started to sing loudly. House finch are all about joy, celebration, exuberance, and light. I was just shown the sun card in my mind's eye. So the sun card is the best card in tarot. It's about Illumination, I just heard rapid illumination, joy, happiness, God's eternal light, heard loud and clear. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Then I heard, although the building is still under construction, it is still inhabitable, can still be lived, lived, underlined, in, while under construction. So this new beginning the feeling I get is that you're being lifted up. Ascension vibes as a couple. But I feel there, because this is a new phase, that it's delicate. So still under construction in some way, but still viable. Although construction is going on to shore the foundation, it is still inhabitable. So it's still a place where you can live, heard loud and clear. Now, the building is the avatar or the body. So this is upgrade energy again. And then I heard the water is here. The water is here for me is exactly what I heard. Great energy week for water signs. And then the starlings started to chatter. And they did this high-pitched 2020 chatter. So 2020 chatter for starling goes deep. What I feel mostly with this 2020 chatter right here is that you are seeing clearly, but this tells of a huge paradigm shift. So the first time that I heard the 2020 chatter for, from the starlings, a bird that has been my first army for many years, it was a new sound in, 2020, in 2019 
about this age of Aquarius and this 2020 vision needed to usher in that age. And so this is the same vibe that I get here with the Starling Starling's Chatter. Now, there, it's interesting because my team looks at these avenues, the 47 and the 38, as three different avenues. They look at it as 47, 38, or 11. So you could be seeing either of these coding, but if you're in seeing 11 or ones repeatedly, that lets you know that you're in this three avenue energy. And this three avenue is about a sign of being in complete alignment, mind, body, and soul. It also indicates advancement, opening up, options. It's as if another part of the labyrinth is available to you now. And this another part of a, the labyrinth is available to you now was heard in straight up judgment coding. This is extremely fast moving energy. So the just justice judgment coding that I was given was 858. So that's where we are in the universal marker. God is dealing with this 858 energy. But by the time that I reached the end of this download, that 858 was already in 905 straight up judgment coding. So again, fast moving energy. And I feel this as God addressing any interlopers that have come between, that have put dark magic in between a... Um, divine partnership, whether that be divine work or divine love, heard loud and clear. So now let's go ahead and get a spread. Already presenting, we have spiritual strength, the nine of wands, and one love begins. This could be new love beginning. This could be self-love. This is overflowing love. This could be reunited love. So first card at the top of the deck, someone experiencing Heartache and loss. Card number three. Threes are about connecting and communicating with the upper angelic realm. Okay? Heartache and loss. At the base, what's based, what it's based on is a choice in love. Beautiful. So making a choice to choose a higher vibrational love. Card number six. Sixes are about harmony or the journey too. And I feel interloper energy. Okay? And as I said, interloper energy, I heard completion and was shown 10 in my mind's eye. So for sure, this energy is being worked with. And my sage is out, so per permit me a second. Actually, I'm using dragon's blood today. Sage was burning earlier. But I'm told to, excuse me, clearing for sure. I'm told to relight the dragon's blood. So, yes, yeah, strong clearing energy. Ooh, excuse me. This is based on victory and success, okay? So, another six card. Sixes are about harmony or the journey too. But master building energy and raised vibration is about not being a martyr. Uh, pouring from an overflowing cup and service as a source of joy. So this is about being happy, happy, joy, joyful in it, okay? First and foremost, destiny. This is destiny. So second time seeing this card on today. It is the will of fortune, a completion in the upright with empress energy, infertile empress energy. Threes are about connecting and communicating with the upper angelic realm. So fertility, the empress, she is all my queens in one. She can grow anything. She is deeply connected to the divine. She's used her life lessons to make her a powerful being, heard loud and clear. First and foremost, someone Interloping energy, heard loud and clear, will be experiencing a disruption. Card number 16 breaks to a seven, your God journey. So this disruption, this shaking of your foundation is to get you on your correct God journey. Your correct God journey. So heard loud and clear. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? This will be my last pass. Yeah, because this energy, 
Yep, and devil energy. Yes, 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 yes. Stubborn, stuck energy. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look quickly at this energy. I know exactly whose energy this is, and you do too. We've worked with this energy so long that um, it's easily identifiable, okay? So all of this unknown being nurtured on feminine energy. What's known and upright, central to the issue, trapped in fear, movement, eight card, okay? Needing to choose wisely. The reason why this person is trapped in fear is because they're in heavy judgment energy. Needing to choose wisely, card number seven. So we have eight, seven. So this is your strong confirmation that your call is to step back. You're trapped in fear because you're in judgment energy and you're needing to choose wisely. Step back. Why? Because you're in temptation energy. Straight up devil energy. Heard loud and clear. Card number 15 breaks to a six. So you have nothing but retraction here. You have eight, seven, six. And it also feels like a countdown for upper world energy movement in this situation. So eight, seven, six. Okay. So unknown from the bottom, starting here, the truth this is the absolute truth about a balanced partnership and or alliance. You see the scales of justice. 20 breaks to a two, balanced partnerships and or alliances. Unknown, not in any kind of two minds about anything, okay? These, this couple is not confused about anything. There is no mental conflict here. The two card is reversed. So when I see 202 like this, it gives me a feeling of complete balance. Not just completely balanced, but completely balanced where the center and the focus is on God. Okay? Unknown from the bottom have worked through the shadow energy, okay? So in the upright, this is moonlight energy, things hidden under the surface. Card number 18 breaks to a nine about growth and expansion and nearing an end to a cycle. So two nines showing same energy that presented in the earlier read today. Nine is about being the change you wish to see by helping humanity release what no longer works. So this is eradicated. This is reversed. So no shadow energy here. It's already been worked through, giving me a feeling, feeling again of balancing yin and yang, light and dark energies. Unknown. There is teamwork, recognition, and reward. This is the three of pentacles. Threes are about connecting and communication with the upper angelic realm. So I feel like this rekindling has been done in secrecy but there is devil energy on the periphery that is attached that is trapped in fear and needing to choose wisely last card no need to clarify a thing unknown yes partnerships and or alliances so 33 vibration i told you that this shadow energy is not here anymore why because they are in christ consciousness so Partnerships and or alliances, this is the three of wands. This is waiting on your ships to come in. This is this lift up from the angelic realm also. Master building energy 33 is reproduction, creativity, joy, Christ consciousness, and humor. Okay, so a whole bunch of good stuff happening in this rekindling of this love. Based on steel fertility with the empress. First and foremost, someone experiencing emotional loss. So five, a change in conflict. It is time to walk away, heard loud and clear. And this is the energy I get. I have five of um, cups is when someone has physically left the building and there is no return. It, it's a death, really, okay? But I don't feel like this person has died. I feel like the interest in the devil energy has died because it's been alchemized to a place of harmony, okay? So we'll get a card from the Enchanted Map Oracle deck because I feel something materializing on the angelic realm that is getting ready to hit the earth plane in a major way. I was just shown the tower, okay? So tower energy coming to dislodge this faulty devil energy.
one card, please, for navigating the energy in this spread. What's the best card for moving forward? Best card for forward movement in this situation. Based on a need to go slow and steady by the one, two, this is the spiritual popo. So we got judgment energy in the download. We got um, heavy judgment energy present here in the truth card. And also the one, two, the spiritual popo, slow and steady. And I feel this like um, they've taken the time to investigate this temptation energy. First and foremost... Yes, there is a magical map shifter. Second time this card has shown up today. This is being able to shift your existence in magical energy. Card 52, and I was just shown the Empress again. 52 breaks to a seven on your God journey. What, and I'm filled with a burst of high energy, but it's for this person who is off course, this person who's in devil energy. Because you cannot change what God has set forth. You tried. You've already jeopardized your life and your children's. And you still cannot forcibly do what you want to do. Because it is not in the script. This, my darling, is God's script for this tangible existence. And there is nothing you can do to change it. One card for navigating this energy. This card moving forward, just one. What's the best path forward for all parties involved? Yep. And of course, it's coming out as a challenge. It was on my hand in the upright challenge because it's for both parties involved falling right here on someone reaching Christ consciousness. So someone is challenged with someone raising their vibration is the energy I get. And my team plays New Day by Jacqueline Carr. And um, I forget the other artist. She's actually the head artist on this. Super interesting that Jacqueline Carr's name is coming up. Christ consciousness, teamwork in a partnership and or alliance, unknown. Making a choice, absolutely. So making a choice, so this is 333 energy with God all in it. Prayers heard and answered in a triangle with God, zero energy in it. So making a choice. You can stay in this devil energy, but what does that do for your soul? Okay, I'll read making a choice. And this is a card that has been featured for months now. There is a spark here of divine inspiration. Card number 34. Someone in dry desert. Yeah, because if you're not seeing the bounty in your life, that would cause you to look at somebody else's life and have death grips on it and salvate at the mouth and want a piece of it. But if you excavate your own life, you'll find the bounty in it and concentrate on growing that. It's about making a choice. You're required to come to a decision now. And this now is a strong now because I told you I feel tower energy. You're faced with a dilemma or a fork in the road and must make a conscious choice regarding your next right action. Whatever that choice is, you must take responsibility for it. Yet you needn't be afraid. You may not have all the answers right now because the way ahead can't be known until you've embarked and traveled a few steps. Trust your intuition. Ask for a sign from the spirit and you will be led to the right path. If you remain conscious and aware, your choice will be the right one at this time. Life is always about learning. Success lies in choosing consciously, guided by intuition and spirit. It came as a challenge, so let's read the other side. Reverse. This is not the time to advocate responsibility. I never heard that word before. Responsibility for your life. Letting others choose for you doesn't make things easier. Don't compromise because you're afraid of facing the consequences of your choices. 
even if you've opted for a difficult path, you can always make another choice in the future. There is great power in reclaiming your ability to choose. No one can take that away from you, no matter what. Don't give your power away. If you are willing to be rigorously honest with yourself about your motives behind your choices, you may see the need to change things. You can change course and choose another route. Just be willing to clean up what you've left behind. That's karmic cleanup on aisle number one. That's internal stuff. Heard loud and clear. A need to make a choice because prayers are heard and answered and God, God is all in the mix in this reuni reuniting, rekindling of this sacred love. And there is being a lift up by the spiritual realm. Make no mistake about it. This is our message on today, beautiful people. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.